thank you. Um, I'm here just as sort of mediator between the Japanese and the Italian legal country, so I'm not still much time with the discussion since we have experts on the topic of sports law after me. So just a couple of questions and one remark. Um, the remark is that I think it's uh, particularly interesting for us to listen to this presentation by Professor Colombo uh, because it shows us, shows us that is uh, completely true what uh, he wrote in an article some years ago about uh, in the American Journal of Comparative Law called Japan as a victim of comparative law. In the sense that we have many stereotypes concerning Japan. Japan is the place where the disputes are not settled before the tribunals, but are settled outside. The Confucian culture make, is, uh, make this one as an exotic place. Uh, Japan is a closed culture that is not open to the uh, contacts with the foreign models. This, all of this is not true. Japan is a very sophisticated legal system, although there are some parts of it in which there are still developing models. Secondly, as it is made clear, the resilience of a state jurisdiction, even in the sport field, in which the Confucian culture would be at ease in the sense that if we have the possibility to solve all disputes and through tribunal awards, that would be a demonstration of the force of this uh, extra judicial uh, dispute resolution. But instead, we see that tribunals are still uh, particularly fun on the idea that subjective rights or rights have to be settled before a state court. So uh, Japan is much more similar to the West legal tradition as we thought before. Uh, thirdly, uh, this openness to foreign legal culture is absolutely remarkable. It was so at the end of the 19th century, it's still to be uh, the same today. So I think it's a, um, a clear demonstration of the uh, truthfulness of what uh, Giorgio Colombo wrote in the American Journal of Comparative Law. Uh, this was a short remark. Um, the question has to do with broadcasting rights and image rights. Um, so the television rights and the, the relationship between the subjective rights of any single athlete with the federation and what are the, um, the aspects of competition law that might be relevant in the sense of monopolization by the federation of the right to uh, manage television right uh, has created any sort of problems from the perspective of uh, antitrust and competition law or not in Japan. Since we had this experience in Italy a few years ago with a decision by the Antitrust Commission on the, um, the use of uh, image rights by the uh, Football Federation, uh, was there any discussion about this topic in, uh, in Japan or is it regulated by statute? So the broadcasting rights and the management of this type of uh, property. Um, thank you very much for your question. Uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't know exactly uh, whether there is a case about uh, this broadcasting right or image rights in Japan. Uh, do, you, do you know something, Professor Suzuki? <laughs> Under the Japanese IP law, uh, the uh, sports are considered to be subject of uh, uh, the copyrights or any other yeah. IP rights. So, uh, either in your uh, part-time monopoly law, uh, there is a provision uh, which excludes uh, the, the enforcement of IP law from the scope of uh, competition law, generally speaking. Uh, but, uh, but, but because, uh, because of the, the, the nature of the subject of the broadcasting, that exclusionary provision is that applicable uh, to the case of uh, uh, broadcasting of sport? Uh, but uh, but the, 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 the question whether uh, how some law would apply to uh, broadcasting is not, I, I don't think it has ever uh, discussed in detail. Uh, 
and at least uh, I understand that in the, for example, in the United States, uh, generally speaking, clubs, good clubs uh, uh, have uh, right to broadcast, but uh, in Japan we don't have any uh, precedents, so it is left to uh, contracts and uh, other general interpretation. Um, an athlete uh, can apply for uh, arbitration about this kind of uh, sports disputes, but until now there is no uh, award uh, rendered in the JSA. Uh, 